Welcome to the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship, proudly presented by Q Sports International and hosted here in Las Vegas at Griff's Billiards. This is a quarterfinals match. It is a race to eight. Alternate break, rack your own. Let's meet our two opponents for this match. First up, hailing from Canada, can we put our hands together for John Mora. And his opponent, hailing from the United States of America. Can we put our hands together for Tyler Steyer. <laughs> Gentlemen, have a great match, and you may lag for break. Welcome, everyone. The U.S. Open Eight Ball Championships at Griff's Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is our quarterfinal match. The two gentlemen on the one lost side. Uh, see who meets the loser of the hot seat match, Jun Ling Chang. This is John Mora and Tyler Steyer. This is George Stage and Jeremy Jones in the booth. Yeah, nearing the end here. This is our quarterfinal with four left. Whoever wins this match will go on to face uh, Jung Lin Chang in the semifinal at 4 o'clock. And then our final at 6 with Sky Woodward in the hot seat match. In the hot seat, I'm sorry. <coughs> just won the hot seat match. Yeah, he's in the hot seat. Yeah, exactly. Yep, he's in the hot seat. He's just waiting right there, boiling, waiting to get these guys. See who he's going to face. Is it the man he just faced in the hot seat match, or will it be one of these two gentlemen right here? Well, two big wins for both of these guys in their last round over Thorson Holman and Corey Duell, two very established great players and future Hall of Famers, uh, but also two that were some of the favorites as far as playing the eight ball, I think. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, they, they, they ranked it. If you picked uh, three or four guys, they would be part of that three or yeah. four. Thorson Holman and Corey Duell. Uh, Thorson went down, I believe... Well, Corey lost eight to four to John Mora. Yeah, and then I think eight, and Torsten, five. eight five. I yeah. believe it was yeah, it was eight five. So John Mora, if you haven't heard, has switched some little over a year ago, maybe fifteen, eighteen months ago, mm -hmm. uh, to opposite handed. But you will see him still break the balls right handed, and an occasional like touch shot. It's weird. It's like the extremes. He still needs the right, whether it's a light one or a little more heavy. Well, his reasonings for switching were physical, weren't they? He right, yeah, neck and shoulder. Neck, yeah, yeah, neck and shol shoulder issues. Um, very, very left-eyed dominant player that's mm -hmm. a right-hander by nature. And, and there goes the ball down. Okay. I think he already had one down, but he got another one. Well, a very effective break, but I'll tell you, he's got some issues. Um, he'd like to start probably with the solids just because the nine's kind of down by its own and by its lonesome here but there's not a great solid to start with other than a combination on the 5-7 and say he shoots that um, he's got to kind of go into the one a little bit maybe carry the one up a little for the a shot on the one in the corner something like that but I mean if he takes stripes here he's taking a big chance trying to get at that nine and the main reason being is because if he takes stripes he's got to shoot the 14 which leads to the nine more than anything um, it's not great by any, by any means. So I think he's going to try and attack with solids. Even though the two is very touchy, there's a, there's, a, there's a few places on the bottom rail you can get to it. Yeah, a little bit of a predicament here. Yeah, and he, you know, off. he'd like to say, okay, you know, I can use one of these stripes down below to probably come across and break the nine somehow, but... If he doesn't gain position on the nine, well, he doesn't get anything uh, yeah. because there's no safety valve there because if he shoots the stripes, he's got to peel the 14 off first. There's no doubt about it. So he'll go with the solids, that being the 5-7 combo. But this is an interesting shot. Um, it's not he's too much worries. The only worry I have is the next shot, uh, George. Well, the five should kind of stay there with the cue ball off the one. Yeah, but he's going into the one, right? So he's oh, going to draw it and... And now he's going to end up, hopefully, with a shot on the five. To the corner. Now, Launch. the one thing he's done is he's moved the one into a little better position getting on the two, but he's only got the four to break the balls with. Um, 
Now you consider the the one as a safety valve, kind of when you shoot the four and break the three nine out. But that's a long distance safety valve mm -hmm. that comes with some angle. Um, so. Yeah, he's got the, that 9-3 present problems for both sets, both the yeah. stripes and the solids. And that's why I was worried about that combination, like how, how that combination shot he, he had was going to alter him being able to break out the three. It's not going to go in. <clears throat> and he's missed that and overcut it a little I bit. I still like the solids unless Tyler's really, really uh, uh, okay with banking the nine cross corner. Well, I think he's going to have to be have to go at that nine ball now off the 14. Well, the thing is, that's why I say, do you bank it? Because at least the bank, you know you're going to get a shot. If he tries to break the nine and doesn't come away with a shot on the nine, he had, doesn't have another shot on a strike. That'd so be, that's why I'm saying yeah. maybe the bank is a better way to play. That's, that nine's a big ball there, but, yeah, you're right. If he, yeah, if he doesn't come away with it, he's in trouble, definite trouble. Yeah, and, and I may shoot the 10 here and try and push the 13 into the 11 and get something over that pocket. And the reason being is if I can break the 9 with the 14, if I have something over one of these pockets over here, well, now that's more of a safety valve, right? Locks Maybe the kick the ball. 13 up, something. Okay, so this says to me that he's going to play the 9 last to get on the 8 or play the 9 and then the 14 to get on the 8 because he's not going to be breaking the 9 from here, right? No. I mean, not the next few shots either, I don't think. I think he's going to clear out everything down here on the bottom and go after the 9, like you said, either with a bank or off the 14 and try to win the game from there. Well, I'm trying to see if he can break the 9. So if he can shoot the 13 and then shoot the 11, okay, and then get an angle on the 12, he may be able to break the 9 with the 14 lane. Okay, he's, he's going the other way. Okay, well, you can't. He's looking at drawing underneath this nine off the 11, like three rails. Like get real heavy on it right there, draw above the one, hit the side rail, come to the back side off of three rails on the nine. And that's actually a pretty good plan because you got the 14 laying. Don't get too thin on this 11, though. If you get too thin on it, drawing it's kind of hard. Hey, that's going to be pretty thin there. So he's got to get – I'm not sure what he's looking at there. He's looking at leaving the cue ball right there to come two rails up. Yeah, but if you, don't, if you don't break – I'd rather bank the nine. I would rather have a guarantee. If, if I'm shooting the 14, right, to break the nine and the nine's the only stripe left, well, if you break it and you don't get a shot, you're dead meat. Let's see if he decides to bank or goes for the breakout. Oh, he he was trying to now. warp it. Yeah. Well, yeah, now well. he's got. Well, now he's got the bank. Yeah. Or get little, a bit, play better position. For yeah. Him. He was trying to warp to the end rail and back up underneath the nine, kind of trying to make it really hook. And I wonder if he realizes he can bank the nine because he still looks like he's trying to get at the the nine with a breakout. Would you consider going for the nine ball right here? If I laid good on it, but the thing is, it tells me the cue ball is going up table unless I dead roll it. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't want to get thin on the 14 somehow. If I make the bank on the 9, I want to make sure I win the game. And with him clearing the 4 right there, now the eight's so open. I mean, this has got to work out. Um, we'll see. Well, he's got to bank it worst. Yeah, now he's got to cut it, right? you got to back cut this, I think. Take your chances mm -hmm. running the cue ball into that traffic, I think. I mean, you got a cross bank on the eight. The eight goes by the three. And even if you you're going to come come into the He's two calling one, the bank. Yeah. that's surprising. I I immediately thought of the bank, but as you said, back cut. As soon as you said back cut, I started looking where the cue ball is going. The cue ball looks like it comes down here by the one two, and you'll probably it's hard to get hooked right in the way, but it's hard to get hooked, and you have a shot on the eight. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about position on the eight right here. I, I got to look at this at what do I make more often here, this mm -hmm. little back cut to the upper right corner or this cross side bank. And don't get me wrong, uh, Tyler can bank the ball as well. He's from, from an area where they play a little banks. Medium speed, not too hard. Yeah, there you go. That was, that was the right speed for the bank. Well, he started off.
So John Moore after something we haven't seen much of, mm -hmm. after an early miss, um, is going to get another opportunity to win this game. And maybe just three or four times on this stream table we've seen this situation. Yeah, not many. Not many at all. Okay, so even though he's gotten on the four and three, he should probably still take the one and two away, I would think. Don't think there's any reason to wait on that. I'm just thinking that he could play the four now or wait. It doesn't make any difference. But I like I like the four and three. Four and two actually, and then see how he gets on either one of these two and it'll be the other one that he shoots last. Yeah, and the only reason I said that sure. is because oh, he, no, st he started on he that there. end. When you start there. on that end of the table, that usually means you want to stay on that end. Mm -hmm. So don't let too many things change your mind. Like normally it takes a real bad uh, miss hit on a ball with the cue ball or something to really make you change your mind when you start on a path. So he's going to shoot the four. He's a little flat on the three. And John, I'll tell you, and it's a, it's pretty much like that as far as when you talk about guys playing opposite-handed. Is like the first time I laid eyes on Buddy Hall, he was practicing left-handed, and I thought hey, he just played left. That's mm -hmm. how he played. He mm -hmm. played so well. I mean, he just didn't miss a ball for about 90 minutes, I think it was. And But what I was getting at is most of the guys that really play well opposite-handed, they almost look exactly like they do right-handed. Like John, for instance, here, very similar um, very similar look uh, when he switches sides. Same right. thing with Efren was very similar. Buddy Hall was very similar. Uh, Hillbilly, another guy that... Charlie Bryant. Yeah, Charlie Bryant really wow. plays good opposite hand. Haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah, I actually saw him last night at the Westgate. I went over there to watch some friends play mm -hmm. in a few matches. And But for, like for me, for instance, I can make the shots I need left-handed, mm -hmm. you know, like the lean over cuts mm -hmm. or a little bit of – but I don't look anything like uh, how I dress the ball. Yeah. Like I have a little nub, nub bridge. Like, yeah. Like a little, you know, like a solid, like a fist bridge, I guess you could call it. So. I don't know what it is <coughs> to come to the table right-handed. <laughs> right. I have enough trouble left-handed. Well, I'm a tall guy, so I don't have to do it very often. <laughs> Well, but John, I'm pretty good at the ones I need left-handed. But um, yeah, and and I know what you mean. Yeah. Just that little simple small shot that yeah. you're not going to move the cue ball, but a couple of maybe a foot at most. Yeah, you're not yeah. really putting yeah. anything you're extreme putting anything. on the cue ball. Occasionally having to draw it a little bit, but never a power draw or anything like mm -hmm. that. But oh, forget it. I wouldn't even try it. It's just it's amazing to me the guys that do do it well. How eerily similar they look uh, when the when they play opposite handed compared there's to just good, straight away. There's some great dates for you folks in between breaks here. Uh, what's coming up for you. Keep in mind that the dates for all four of those events you're seeing up there are March 11th through the 21st uh, in 2020. And here's Sty Tyler Steyer breaking the balls. Oh, big we, break. Yeah, big break is right. Okay, poured a couple of men. There's the third. And Solids are good with an opening 14-3 combination, I think. Yeah. Don't, I don't hey, everything, think it, yeah. everything gets right real quick right there, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's, a, yeah, it's, it it's funny, right? We're playing the rules where you can – the table's open. Um, but mm -hmm. sometimes the table will tell you exactly. Like the 15-13 like the is a little funny. You can see the 14 sure. and the 10 up, up top. So it just immediately leads you sometimes to what, what's correct. And really, a combination that's not very missable, I don't think. Oh, it looks. It looks. You'd really have to hit it uber soft or uber hard. Uh, if you stay in that medium zone, the pocket's huge. It looks like something I might bet a glass of water on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here it'll be something like the 5 1 4 2 6, probably, huh? Yeah, I think so. 5 1 4 2 6. Just let the next ball lead sure. you to the. Uh, I like it. 
leads you from one ball to the next with minimal cue ball movement. If anything, he shoots the one ball last, but I, I, I'm pretty sure he'll shoot it next. Yeah, it's there next it's to there the five. Next to the yeah. five. Might as well shoot it now. Be aggressive with the cue ball here. You can handle a lot of angle from the one to the four, so go ahead and come to the center. Yeah, there you go. Make sure you can reach it and just work your way down. Four ball should be next. Yeah, it's got to be, once you set that pattern with these open ones, it's got to be something very convincing to make you want to change. And the reason why that's so important um, is if you stick to that, like if you learn to like play it like that, like, mm -hmm. you, you, like become very confident in your first look, it'll make you uh, <clears throat> actually play the game a little better. Because usually when you make changes, that involves moving the cue ball more. I don't think he has to go to the rail here. He'll just pinch it. And that's that's that fundamental that, you know, Tyler, he's still growing as a player and mentally getting stronger. And, but, man, that technique sure does help. And, again, with Tyler, sometimes it's, it's the lack of acceleration. You just mm -hmm. got to make sure he accelerates on that, on that follow-through right there. And everything else is set up so well, it's really hard to miss hit the cue ball for him. He's gotten dead perfect on this shot. Well, he's got some confidence, both these guys, coming off some big wins in the last round. Yeah. John was the 14th seed out of the 16 that were seeded for this tournament. Tyler, of course, wasn't seeded, but he's beat every player with Fargo score uh, rates 38 to 50 points higher than his. So he's his Fargo's going way up over 750. Pretty quick. Yeah, Fargo, like like these guys' pool career, it's a long-term proposition. Mm -hmm. and so these guys, they just feel like if they can play just solid, they will, that's what they want. Solid, solid. You have the great ones and you have the ones that you don't play so well, but long term is what this pool's about. Well, we'll watch John break the balls here, but both players opened up with a bye. Uh, John's first match was James Davies, uh, who he beat 8-3, then he uh, beat Dennis Ercolio 8-4. He lost to Tyler Steyer before. He lost 8-4 to Tyler uh, early in the tournament, and then he defeats uh, Cheng Cheng Lu, 8-6, Alex Pagulain, 8-4, Corey Dooley just came off the win this morning, uh, noon at 8-4. Tyler, on the other hand, uh, defeated Darren Appleton, 8-2. He actually defeated John Mora, 8-4, as we said, and uh, Kevin Chang, 8-5, and Torsten Homan, 8-5. So there's our history for this tournament. You can see our sponsors there, Griff, Cyclop, Kamui, Predator, Simonis, JB Cases, and Discount Custom Apparel, CSI, putting on another great event here at Griff's. Now, John was very successful on the first break, but he, he kind of got a, a funny layout uh, mm. with the balls really separated, and that nine and three were uh, end up being a – ooh. All right, now. Not done yet. Is anything going to no, kick it over? No, no, he's okay. Sometimes them balls trickle on the sides at the very end, but mm -hmm. you can tell pretty quickly how the balls are tracking after the break, and that was that flat one. There no pop on the cue ball, really. He's looking at that 15 in the side just because the 5 doesn't go, and, and again, we got a real lonely solid down here uh, that doesn't go, so... That's why he's wanting to get at stripes, and I think stripes are fine. Fourteen goes in the uh, fifteen goes on the opposite side. He's got the nine there to get on it. He's got the thirteen to maybe lead towards it. And if he got say he got heavy on the eleven later in the rack, well he can stop shoot the thirteen right, and then go over and bump the four. Or he, he's got options. So if this fifteen's any kind of tight to this side, and guess what? Doesn't the fifteen go in between the four three all the way down? 
Yes, it does. Okay, so he's passing up on that. He doesn't see that. That's important. So for Tyler's, for Tyler's sake here, I hope he doesn't miss this tight one in the side um, because I think it did go all the way down, I think. And if it does uh, or did, he'll see it right now. No, he's not even looking at it. Well, he's just looking for position, okay, which is fine. He can hold for the 14, no problem. And he can put a little high on the ball and come, come to the good side of the 10 and the 12. So I think more than anything, it's just all about squeezing this one between that 2-3. Heck, that should, shouldn't present a problem, Corey. Two railed the ball between two balls that, that, that wide. I was apart. telling some people at the APA yeah. last night about that shot, how just if you get a chance in a month or whenever they do put this up on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Take go a get you a look shot. at that yeah. one. Yeah. And yeah. it was sweet just because the camera was right on it as well. You could really you could see the the one ball really rotating, spinning. Mm -hmm. uh, just a cool shot. Now here, I like holding for the twelve more than coming for the ten. Only reason being is you can get in that little gray area. I like just using the twelve to get to the ten instead. Of, if you get up above the ten, of course you that's what you want, right? Yeah, he's come up. But if you end up way high, now he end up good. But if you end up way high or a little short, things can be a little funny getting on that 12. He's good here, though. This lays out nice. Another young man, we talked about it with Skyler, that I got to believe his eight ball game is progressing as the week has gone as well. That being Tyler. Well, he's making the game look easy from uh, a lot of it due to the break, but he seems to be moving, like you just said, progressing because he's moving better. Yeah. Just kind of connecting the dots a little bit. Yeah, better, he's recognizing right? the patterns much better. Whoa. <clears throat> okay, so he'll spin out softly two rails, I believe, anyways. I like that better than trying to pinch it because when you try to pinch it here, um, it can go off in your hand a little bit. Or if you if it, if you have the correct speed and you let up on it. He's coming back with it. Yeah, he's coming back. All right, so he's got to don't, – don't give up on it. Oh, he hit it real clean. And he's got that perfect stroke for that shot. Well, this young man's been very oppressive. And now going to break the balls in game number four with a one-game lead. No more li out, uh, outer table live scoring because it's just one match at yeah, a time good. here. The quarterfinal now and the semi next, semis next, and the finals at six. We have uh, Torsten Homan and Corey Duell finishing in fifth, sixth. Um, actually, Torsten was hoping for a higher finish for his hopes at the all-around points, but that did materialize, and he has settled for a $1,000 payday at 5th, 6th, along with uh, Corey Duell. Yeah, but Thorsten with two nice caches here and, yeah, yeah. and kind of, you know, grinding his way sure. back into the, uh, you know, the, the pr pr premium parts of the tournament. Uh, towards the end. Yeah, he's in the money. I mean, fifth, sixth, and fourth. He right. was fourth in the 10 ball, fifth, great. sixth in the, in the eight ball. Good showing. Uh, he had some matches that uh, could have gone either way. Let's see his... He had a big win. It was it against Scatter where he made that real nice shot, or was that against Corey? Who's that? Torsten. Uh, that was against.
Corey, right? Hill Hill? Or was it against Corey, right? Uh, it was Hill Hill against James Aranis. Are you talking about that kick on the six ball? Uh, yes. That was in the ten ball event. Oh, okay. That was in the at the fifth, sixth position or something, seventh, eighth position or something like that in the ten ball event. Because Corey cut at the six and went back and forth and hooked him behind the seven. And he had to kick long round, call it in the ten ball. It was against Skyler. Because... Um, well, the kick shot was yeah. it was in the ten ball event. Okay. And, uh, you talk, he did go hill hill. You talking about Thorsten or Corey? I thought you were talking about I was Thorsten. Talking about Thorsten. I got. Yeah. I'm looking at my notes here, trying to figure out where he had that grade out on the eight ball at the very end, where he had to bank the ball. It was yesterday. Well, we better let that go because I can't remember for sure. Well, Thorsten played a couple of Hill Hill matches. Yeah. Man, what a break this was. Uh, he just made his first opening shot on a solid in the side. But, man, how many did he make? Let's see. Four, four, and two. He's made four on the break. See, this is where that choices comes up in this eight ball. Mm -hmm. You play for the four, right? But you come one round, you come to the back round, bounce up a little bit. That way, if you get short side perfect on the seven all the way up or on the side, or if you fall on that two ball, you go ahead and take care of that. But you always have the four to play with. Um, I think, anyways, just draw in between just the six between four. The six, yeah. yeah, and yeah. go ahead and be aggressive bouncing off is my point. Don't just try to lay so softly. Oh, he went he up might, into him. Oh, he went the oh, other way. Okay. Inside, okay. I guess. Yep. I guess that was a great way to play it because I thought he might hit that withdraw and hit the deuce. But if he doesn't hit the deuce doing that, he could get behind those two solids or stripes. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Uh, he did that real well to stay on the, on the left side of the seven, and this really opens it up for him. Yeah, I'm wondering, is he is he trying to get that little shot on the two to hold for the four because the 13's a little in the way? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind playing the – the two last to get on the eight. I mean, it's not that hard to come across in between yeah. the 13, 14 at all. So we'll, we'll see. It looks like he's going to draw for the two. But see, if you get thin on the two, now you got tr trouble. you got to run one rail into the 13 now, right? He should be okay doing that. No, that's thin. Look at that. I mean, that's not – you can't just kill the cue ball easily on this shot. No. So he's either got to run one rail into the 14 or one rail into the 13, I think. Well, I have a I'm very surprised that he didn't recognize that getting a shape on the two was not going to be so easy to get to the four. Mm -hmm. Much easier to play the four first and then the two to the eight. He's, he's bumping the 13. Lot, he's yeah. putting a lot of English on it to hold it. Yeah, he's okay. He beat Going it. Back and forth. He beat it. Okay. But you can see having to execute with balls that were really like within yeah, a few feet of trouble. each other. Yeah. yeah. He clips that ball. He, could, he was not sure where he's going with the cue ball. Probably would have come out, but um, it's a probably, not definitely. Well, that's one thing he is doing, though. He, he is executing. You can't get to this position without it, that being the final four of the tournament. Well, I understand he played extremely well against Thorsten Homan. Well, I'm sure Thor Thorsten, uh, obviously, in form or getting getting there, getting close to in form uh, mm -hmm. with two great finishes here and one of the best eight ball players on the planet, probably. That's four in a row for the. 24-year-old, now living. Is he living in Canada now? No, no. His his girlfriend lives in Canada. Oh, okay. um, she goes to school there. Um, he's back in Wisconsin, where okay. he's from. Wisconsin. Because I remember Jimmy White was telling us that uh, he comes into his room up there quite a bit. Yes, yeah, because he goes up to see yeah. his, his lady. <clears throat> well... Immediately, the, the break hasn't been John's friend so much yet. Mm -hmm. He broke, and the first first time he broke, uh, the balls got kind of clustered up where it was very difficult to run out, and then the second one was dry. So he's going to need some something different besides those um, at three to one down. A 
little flat again. Cue ball. Yeah. And solids again are just looking pretty sweet. Now with the eight going to both holes, you go ahead and take the five and two away here, right? Mm-hmm. That way you go up and take care of the four upstairs, and then when you come down the eight, you really have a lot of options with it going to both pockets. Some people would say, hey, you shoot the five off and then leave the two to get on the eight, but I think you with, no, with everything so uh, open, no. you don't worry about that. He's got the seven and the six, or he can get on the eight ball from any one of the four balls. Exactly. Up there. Look how open that's yep. both the left and right side of the eight are. So. Yep. He doesn't have to worry about getting on, on on the yeah. eight from up there. And here, just take no chances, meaning don't threaten the 14 at all. I mean, if you're drawing up the table, the stay only, very clear of that one. It's the only ball that can hurt you. Okay, pretty nice. It's like ball in hand is what it sure. really is. And here's that little triangle we've, we've been talking about, the yeah. six, four, and one. Really like the four yeah. to get to the eight, so he'll roll forward for the six in the side, one in the opposite corner. And he could also do the seven, one, oh, four, yeah. six. Oh, there's, there's all both, kinds there's of There's all kinds of combinations here. He can just pick and choose the way these balls lay. Yeah, when you don't have any of your opponent's balls on the yeah. table near you down there and you have the balls like this, everything's so easy. So, again, I think six, one, four, and just either come across the 14 or draw up the side rail, which, whichever he lands on. But Tyler Steyer here in our quarterfinal getting plenty of time at the table early to get that arm going. Traveling his cue ball just to the left of the side pocket. I don't even think he'll come all that far, that far down. Now, if, with Thorsten winning, uh, I'm sorry, losing his last match, did that make it to where Sky automatically has won the all-around yes. and Dennis coming second? Yes. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, that put, uh, that, if, if, even if Sky loses the final, the final his points are... Uh, it's 684, I think. Yeah, and I don't think Chang or Tyler Steyer with a win can catch Dennis either. No. I'm really happy that both events had the same points. Uh, I'm really happy that worked out that way. It did with the same number of players. There we go to 4-1. I guess I was a little uh, preemptive in my marking of my scores here, how I keep track. I had already marked him down four to one when it was three to one. Well, you you can see as well as all of us, George, that that break and scratch right there with that <laughs> table the way it was, uh, four to one was pretty inevitable. Mm -hmm. well, these these games are moving right along, but you're getting a good good view of a young man that's you know showing a lot of promise. And uh, talk about somebody when you especially when you look at Fargo and how do you, how they score it. Here's a young man that has beat um, beat players that have a, a considerable uh, Fargo higher than his. I mean, Chang uh, Chang was an 804. Kevin Chang, Darren Appleton, geez, they, they range from 30, 30 some points to 50 points higher than his, and, and he just. Beat them and beat them eight to two, eight to four, eight to five, eight to five. What do you think their Fargos are when it comes to breaking the balls? Uh, well, if you if you break down the Fargo and give like you know, 500 points for the break, 300 points for playing position, uh, this young man's going to have 600 points <laughs> in a Fargo. <laughs> I'll tell you this: uh, uh, he breaks the balls as good as anyone we've seen, if not better. And more than likely better. Boy, he wants to shoot a solid here, and I don't blame him. He's got either the one or the four. It's worth it because if you shoot the stripes here, you're really betting on a breakout that's not easy. Uh, the problem is he doesn't have a great starter on the, on the solids. Uh, 
But he'll be able to get at that four with the six and the one and the two and the five all being there. He'll be able to I'm not, get at that three, excuse me, not the four. I, I, think, actually, I like the one, I think. I like cutting the one, I believe. I actually like him shooting the, the ten ball and breaking the 15. I don't think he can do it. There's okay. way a lot of angle there, and if he does, if he doesn't get it right there. He's going four ball. He's pretty much Yeah, he's cooked. pretty much cooked, yeah. 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 And I agree with you if he was just a touch thicker than that 10. You know what I mean? If he was just a hair mm -hmm. thicker on that 10. Guaranteed, you gotta, yeah, guaranteed to break it. To open him, yeah. yeah. But I think with the solids being here, it's just hard for him uh, not to get at it. I, I like him shooting the one and then the two and breaking open the three there because there's no bad place to go, meaning you're going to have the six on the side. You're going to have the five in the corner. There's no place to get snookered. So I like him shooting the one. And just holding that little angle to shoot the two and go right into the face of the three right there. Yeah, exactly. Like right there. Shoot to one. Leave the six, though. You know what I mean? Just pinch mm -hmm. it over an inch or so. And and if you go below the ten, there's really no place to get to where you ain't got a shot on something. Yeah, leave that five ball. You want that five ball. That's a That's a friend. Yeah, there you go. Just anywhere in there to shoot the two and go right into the three and the 14. And that way 15, has, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, he has the six and the five. As, right. As and if he double sure slides off both sure. to the bottom rail, he's got the seven there as well. Like if you say d sure. tick, tick, and Come go up. that way, yep. right? <clears throat> and it's real natural, you know. But with the nine being there, you may have to shoot this two ball here in a second with a little more speed than you wanted. But, uh, oh, he missed it. Oh, wow. darn. I think it was the correct shot, though. Even if he had to play in the corner, that was the right shot to get on the two and go into the three. John still got his hands full, though. This is nothing easy about this. Because you have to get somewhat full on the 10 to break out the mm -hmm. 15. So that means you might get pinned on the back of the 15. Now he's looking at that early, as he should. Oh, yeah. But I'd say he's still probably... If he doesn't get on it right here, if he does get on this breakout right here, I think he's still about 50-50 to get out just because that's how hairy the breakout shot is. Oh, he got, see? He got two straight. Yeah, and see, now how's he going to break? He's got to shoot to 12. Go back to the, uh, the 12 or the 9. he got to shoot to 12, I think, and break now. If you limit yourself on another ball, mm -hmm. like say he shoots the 9 and he doesn't get there this time which is real easy to do because you could overhit it and get thin on the 10 and you don't have to break out either. I think he needs to shoot to 12 right now and break them. I wonder if he even sees it. I think I think that's what he just measured for, bringing the cue ball back to give himself the angle to be where he's at now to come up for the, for the breakout. Yeah, but why wouldn't you do it right now and leave the 10 there? That's another option, right? Oh, I get you. Shoot, you the, shoot the 12 now. No, shoot oh, the shoot 12, 12 and come one rail across into the face of the three. Because you got a lot of ways to good things to happen. You got the nine down gotcha. here. If you hit the bottom of the top of the three, if you hit the bottom of the three, you may produce something on the 10. I think he's got to do this. And he's got to hope he doesn't get a scratch off of him. He's got a lot of, a lot of problems, but. That's one of them. That's a good break for Tyler. Actually, everything just opened up for him. Yeah, he's in a great Except position. For the one. Yeah. The one ball is now trapped on the bottom. It's okay, though. Yeah, he can get to. He can get to the. He can lay the cue ball on the bottom rail, shoot it up, up table. I'm wondering if he's going to be left in a position to <clears throat> have to do that last, though. Maybe off the six or the three in the side, one of them, one of those. Um, I don't think he can see the two ball, can he? No, and so his only shot really is the is is the seven or the five. Now he's looking at where on the six. I don't shoot the two if it's missable, though. I, I, I don't. Hmm. 
I think if he shoots the five, he'll have – he's going to be able to produce something easily. Um, you can get on the two and then shoot and slide over and shoot shoot easily the, the six to get dropped down on the one. Yeah. The should. thing is, does the three pass the ten? That would help you. Yeah, that would make a lot. If it, if it does, it, this shot would be no – he would have shot this already. Right. I think he, he's looking to see what, where he goes off the five. He's going to have to go for the six in the same corner. Well, the one thing I'm thinking about this one is it's missable. Two ball. Nice shot there. And I really think I like coming off the three. Uh, shoot to shoot to five, carry to seven, right? And just kind of stay somewhere where the five's at mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. or a little bit, you know, to the right of it because I like leaving the six – uh, be honest with you, say I get a little thin on the one, or the six is not a bad ball for me to help out later on. So I, I think I like getting from the three to the one. Just just kind of stay on that line where the seven's at, right? Oh, you don't want too straight. Okay, yeah, stay on this line right here where the seven's at. Oh, well, he's going to play the one last, okay, and that's that's not horrible. So he's going to play the 7-3-6 to drop behind the 1. Nothing wrong with that. Should have put a little bit of... Uh... No, he's good. Yep. And John, in his defense, I know he didn't hit those couple balls. You know, he missed position on getting to the breakout ball and all that. But it, he was in a bad spot mm -hmm. anyways, I think. It I, was tough. It to wasn't easy with, at yeah. all. He had to get the perfect angle on the 10. Mm -hmm. And then when he uh, didn't get it the first time, he went after it the second Ooh. time. And, oh, he's a little that's flat a, here. That's a it? little light. Yeah, he's going to have to stun this ball down there, I, bl I believe. Uh, uh, right? That doesn't look natural to go to the back of the one. He's got to stun this a little bit. He could just follow it. Looks like he catches the rail just before the one. Yeah, that's what I say. You don't want to take a chance there yeah, going He is taking inside. a chance if he doesn't uh, break it out towards the right-hand corner. He's in big trouble. He could have just used like one, two more inches draw on the mm -hmm. three, and he would have been perfect to go by the one. Now he's got to just use his talent a little bit. That subtle stun shot that we talked about with Skyler, he's so good at it. Could go for the bank on the one. True. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what a nice kiss. And you say it's not a nice kiss, but he was going to be in the pocket over the, you know, mm -hmm. making the, the 12. 12. <laughs> yeah. Which still might have been an easier shot. I don't know. It's close. That was a funny shot, though. That's the one thing about eight ball that's the different dynamic of a rotation game is he's in a spot here. He can't play safe like rotation mm -hmm. when you don't like a shot because your opponent has all these balls. So the pressure of. And you can't really leave a low percentage shot. Yeah, the there's, yeah. yeah at this yep. level either. So the pressure of having to just get down and you know you got to make a tough shot or you lose the game. That actually kind of frees you up at the same time, though. It, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Gives yeah. you the freedom to shoot the, right, shoot right, the right. hard shot. And so you commit to it all the way and say, I have no other way to go but this. Okay, he's digging on the ball coming backwards. Uh, hit it pretty Still well, better. obviously, but just not quite good enough. Well, it's a big opportunity for John Mora. It looks like he's playing ball first. He's got two to choose from up the table. Should draw off the 10.
Get on this nine ball and he'll mark up his second game. A little in betweener here. Probably mm -hmm. go ahead and come across the eight. I hate to try and pull it back enough and slow it down at the same time. He's got a little bit more angle than mm -hmm. to and stay on the right like side it. of it. Yeah, he could follow with top inside as well, but most of the guys will just come across it a little bit here, and he may kill it. He did. Nice touch. And he'll be breaking. So uh, a productive win there because he gets the break after it. And uh, John's just because the break has been uh, not so friendly so far. He's he, both his wins have really been off of two racks that Tyler could have got out. Mm -hmm. um, so it could be a lot worse, really. Yeah, he's yet to break and run. Uh, yeah, he's broken scratch once, and he broken had a some clusters on another, and had a dry break on the other. So he's covered all the bad bases when it comes to breaking. Now he needs to get on to the friendlier side, making balls and getting good shots. Tyler just breathing, relaxing. And you see part of the fan club back there in the back behind the table. There's a table between the tournament table and uh, people sitting down. And there's some bleachers off to by John's right elbow where it was, corner of the table there. Watch his control on this break. See if he has it or it's lacking. Well, he's made one. Made Two another. balls getting kissed way down here, though. Yeah, it got kissed hard. Came all the way down. It went to the top rail. Man, and how many did he make? Two, four, six. He made five on the break. Wow. Wow. Two uh, solids and three stripes. I'll tell you, the way the solids are, the 10, of course, but do you shoot a 10-3 combination from this distance that looks like very hard to miss? Uh, oh, maybe the 8's in the way. Maybe he can't even get at that, but you say the 8 wasn't there. I mean, only reason is there's not a great way to break with the 4-1 a little covered up yep. by the 14 and the th 13. There's not a great way he to break that after 3. Now. I mean, look at the combination. It yeah. doesn't look very hard at all. And he can just let the cue ball come straight down the table. Um I'd have to think about it, I guess. I don't think he can see it. Okay, if he can't see it, well, there's not much thought needed there. But I just, with the one and the four, the way they are, there's just not a real great way to break the three open. And now we'll get a, a better look here in a second, but maybe he can cut the three. Maybe there's a little room in there to mm -hmm. cut the three with the ten. Uh, ten uh, even being so near. Yeah, he's looking at it. Yeah. Seeing what he has to he do He could here. shoot the five and draw up into the ten right now. That's what I was thinking. He could go after uh, it now right yeah. straight straight away. The problem is if he doesn't get a shot on the three straight away, the four and the, well, the four might go by the 13. What, the about, shoot, pocket. what about just shooting the 13 hard and going into the one and see if the one opens something up? You're going to have the 11 there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, gotcha. you, I mean it's a possibility. Um I like that better than cutting the 13 and trying to go by the one and open them. Mm -hmm. You know, just crash real hard into the one. You got two of them over the side pocket, right? And short side position on the 10 isn't like totally out of the realm. So he's looking at carrying, playing a carom on the 13 and shooting the 14 down there uh, to open, like maybe give, it, give mm -hmm. him some options here in a minute. <laughs> That's not a bad shot either. Because you'll have the 11 no matter what. So 
pretty creative here, recognizing he's got other options besides the solids. I know he wants it, but hmm. I'm right on the fence on which one's better, <laughs> the, the carom or just shooting the 13 and crashing into the one pretty firm. I actually like shooting the five ball and crashing into the uh, ten, uh, the 14, I believe, because then you'll have you'll be able to make an angle off the one, off or, the the one or the four to, to maybe to open it, to open it up, yeah. Or or go after it right now, right off the five, straight at it. Looks like to me he's playing the carom shot. The thing about the carom, it kind of tells me that he's got to draw this a little. So He does, and he could follow the 13 ball in the side pocket. Yeah, okay. He's just hitting it hard, I think. If he hits it hard, he's probably pretty hard to follow it in. Okay. Uh, just wants to kind of deflect off of. But if he hits it like that medium you talked about, he could easily follow it in. Okay, so... This ain't bad. Now, what's the eight going to do with the four? Oof. It's tight. Got ugly. Yeah, and, and he doesn't quite have enough angle on the 14, but guess what? He can cut the 11, I think, and get at the 10. Can he cut the 11 and yes. get at the 10? I think yes. he can. Yes. With the 14 hanging, that really helps. It'll be two rails, though, not one. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah. Two's actually okay. Yep. Kick it up, right? He can come to the bottom rail, right? He could come to the bottom rail. With left English, yeah. huh? Yeah. He could even really come across and play short side on the 10. It does cut from a little below the 1. Mm -hmm. The thing about this breakout right here is don't get fooled and hit it really hard and lose accuracy on the cue ball. You only need a little bump, a little 5-inch bump on the 10. So like medium speed, that way you keep the line of the cue ball nice. Uh, no good. Ooh. No good. You know, the table has not been kind to him so far. No, that's, you know, he's had to take a couple chances on some goofy looking runouts uh, that were really he was an underdog at, or anybody would have been an underdog. And, and now, once again, broke the balls very well, but really didn't come away with a, you know, you don't want to look, for, say, he needs an easy path, but just a doable path. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Well, all ball fouls, so careful putting this ball down. Sounds crazy, but I might go ahead and come down. This whole table's so open right now. I might leave the one and come on down now and clear that four away. Because once you clear the four away, everything becomes really easy. He didn't get there. He didn't get on anything. Hmm. But you see what I'm saying? Yes. Like, just come on down to the left side of the table. You chip the four in. You chip the five in. You shoot the one, and then you got the seven last. He's cutting the one, going three rails with the cue ball. Three rails? Back and forth, you mean? Back and forth. To where, though? For the four. Oof, man. You don't like that? Well, I'm just saying you might get hooked. I think I got to cue this with low outside and bring the cue ball back. I mean, yeah, there's just too many. I don't, I don't think I can get really in a bad spot bringing it back. If I go back and forth and my speed's off, i got to maybe make a rail first on the four. Mm -hmm. So you're going to spin it to the left? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think even if the seven does pass the 14 all the way down, if I have to get in that predicament also. But just... Just a miss hit on that ball in hand. And that's funny. That's because he was drawn past it, but he didn't want to go too far miles past yeah. it. But and, and like you recommended, go, go all on the way down. down. Yeah. Go on down, yeah. Yeah, because Come the trouble's down. down there. The trouble was not the one in the three. Then, of course, the ball in hand on the three made the three easy, but the one's not a problem. It's the four that's covering these other ones up. Okay, he should be fine now. Yeah. Came down perfect. A little outside English. Did him well, served him well. 
I guess I just have to practice more with that outside English again. I used to spin those balls good, but ever since I started using that inside English and stayed with it all the time, I hardly ever use that outside. Wow, that's amazing. Um, well, how do you There's come back? How do. do you come backwards with the cue ball? Inside English promotes opposite of backwards mm -hmm. with the cue ball. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I use it. I mean, uh, uh, there's just not on real thin cuts like that anymore. Right. Not against the rail cuts. I have a tendency of pulling it off the rail. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Well, Skyler's going to get that 5-2 lead and breaking, right? Uh, yeah. John won the lag. And to come up for this seven ball. And really, nothing's been friendly for John. I mean, no, other, other no. than Tyler, really, Tyler had two mistakes, or else this could be uh, like 7 nothing real easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from the get-go, when he's come to the table, they're, kind of, they're just funny. Yeah. And then on that last shot, he was kind of forced to go for that breakout on the 10 ball, and uh, he went right by it and scratched. Yeah, now he's got a, you know. Good lead with the break. Yeah, and if you're John, you know, when you have experience playing a lot, some players and a lot of players at that, for that matter, that, you know, you know some of them that they have the type of break that might lean towards a, a, a dry break uh, just because, you know, they lack something on the break shot. But here at 5-2 trailing, Tyler Steyer, I'm not sure what he's thinking as far as an opportunity here in the well, eighth game. He's probably thinking, I already lost to this guy 8-4 once. Now it could be worse, so I've got to do something <laughs> here. <laughs> I've got to get it done. And I keep saying this, but here's a good chance to uh, emulate a new break. For those of you that were always um, uh, stuck on, on uh, Shane Van Boney's break, just get a load of this one. Yeah, and it's along the same lines. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tyler has a little bit of his own characteristics involved, of course. But the main thing is watch your cue down. And a lot of people don't realize it's actually a little bit more of an upward hit, and then the cue comes back down towards the felt. But man, what a hit. Just gets so much explosion. Now, what's going to happen with these solids? Well, he's got three of them jumbled up there, but the three ball opens them all up. Yeah. And uh, that's the only problem on the whole table. Yeah. And I'm wondering how he's going to hit this exactly. He could hit it with a high ball and come across the four, which is a little more guarantee. If he tries to go into that nine, the way it says, like draw into the nine and move him, uh, he could double kiss the nine and leave it right there, even shooting it with some speed. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I like that right there because that's going to move the four out of the way. It cue ball probably glances the nine ball enough to get it out of the way and you'll have a shot on the two. Yeah, I'm trying to think what speed I would hit this at. Medium? Not much, yeah. yeah not you medium. don't want to baby it, of yeah. course, but you don't want to blast it because you could lose the cue ball down sure. table if you blast sure. it. Yeah, I like that. that. And perfect. that ball moves just perfect. That's perfect. So now it's about getting on that five ball and that six. Um, he's going to be able to handle these three. That being the seven, four, and the two. I like taking the two away now and the four and using the seven to get, get down on the five and six. Right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, somehow like definitely. that. Definitely. Yeah, that's, what he, that's what he's doing. He's going to do the, 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 four, the two, the four, and he just indicated where he wants to be with the cue ball.
just wants to get get the cue ball off the rail a little bit so he can uh, hit the. F oh, he's going to try to get on against the rail there and come off. Okay. He's going forward to bump, yeah. bump that second rail, huh? He's just going to lay it on the second rail so he can come off just straight over. He can just kind of stun over for the seven. Yeah. Thing is, if you end up a hair, I mean, if you end up off on that, there was no room for error. If he, yeah. he could end up dead straight on that four there, I thought he was going to that second rail to bump above the four. Um, but I guess he just felt like it, I'm, I'm for sure getting it froze on that end rail. I liked him. I liked him just coming off the rail, mm -hmm. going towards the four, mm -hmm. and using the rail to come down for it. Because he could, he could, you know, get flat on this and not be able to come off. Mm -hmm. Well, he could always. Um, he can maneuver it, but it's just less effort. I'm trying to see if he gets to where he can float right in the gap between the eight and the six, or if he's got to come down for the five. Because position from the five. Okay, that's so he's going to draw to the back side of the six uh -huh, here. Yeah. Over here. But position from the five to the six may not be that easy. Um, should still be okay. No, I, I'd like to end up right where the eight ball is right now, actually. Ah, uh, he's too thin. That's is he too thin on this? Well, yeah, he's too thin on the seven now. I think he's taking a chance if he tries to float in there. I think he's going to draw to the left of the six and kill the ball on the bottom rail for the, for the five. If he gains that little angle, he'll come around and take the cut on the six, which will run the cue ball around the 11-14. So main thing is here, bury this one. Yeah, you got to get down there, too. Don't get behind those balls. He's okay, though. So another one of them, don't let up on the stroke. you got to know that uh, you're killing the ball with English. And make sure you find that rail. Yeah, I don't think, it, I don't think that'll be a problem. He's... The draw stroke for this young man is mm -hmm. is a, a go-to a lot of times. He got on the six. Better hope it, it goes. Go? Yeah, it better go off. You'll have to shoot the combo then. If it doesn't go. I think it does go. Do you think it goes or do you hope it goes? <laughs> The six? <laughs> yes. Oh, I think it goes. I okay. think it, just no. I'm looking at the screen. I'm saying I think it goes. Mm -hmm. And he's close enough to it. He should be able to kill the ball nicely. And keep the cue ball off the rail. Yeah. Well, he's left two long shots. And has blocked the 12 ball. I wouldn't be afraid to shoot the 14-11 now and make his six and draw, just draw up. right up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, no reason to think you got to run a bunch of balls first because I mean, unless he thinks he can get short side or shoot the twelve and follow the six in, there's he's going to have to he's going to have to give up a so turn at the table regardless. Yeah, he's going to try to put it behind the fifteen ball. It looks like. Yeah, just go on up. I would rather hit it lighter. The reason why I hit it lighter, George, is because I want that eleven to cover up this kick. Oh, so gotcha. I mean, you know what I mean. So I don't. I, it, yeah, if the if the pocket's covered right there, that, he's got nothing. Yeah, even he's the, really even got a good shot. Here he can beat you with a good shot. Here he could. I mean, it's still a one out of probably thirty or maybe twenty, maybe twenty. Well, I don't know. It's at that diamond. A lot of people that I can know how to get to know that, how to get to that diamond. Uh, right? Yeah, they know how to get to that diamond. In fact, uh, he gets there real well with some spin off the rail, just to, right at the corner of the side pocket, um, and two tips of English. I think he gets him there. No, he's got to come below it. Oh, he could go above it. He just have to maybe heavy spin heavy or light spin. swerve. That's why I said and, two tips. Yeah, yeah, maybe light swerve into that point, mm -hmm. maybe. 
But we'll see if uh, if he's had any practice with the shot. <laughs> All right, well, the t rails are checking up nicely. He didn't miss that by much. Sure did. But here's what John needs. <laughs> Good safety. Leads to ball in hand with seven balls on the table. Now it's just a matter of uh, clearing them off. I was about to say, don't panic. There's no reason to panic. You just draw up into the eight instead of do that. You don't have, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. a lot of people will say, man, I got to get that ball out of there, and got to, yeah, you got to realize that there's so many options whenever you play this game. Is and that's maybe the best thing to tell yourself: don't panic. You Breathe. got a lot of good things. <laughs> yeah, Breathe. a lot of easy options. So. Just like with ball in hand, a lot of people will really put the cue ball short side a lot of times instead of bumping a ball. Um, and the good shot about being in this position, even if he misses a ball, he'll probably leave the cue ball where Tyler has to bank it. Right. Or come with a real good shot. John's going to get on the board again here at five to three, and we'll be breaking off in the ninth game. So he's got to get that fixed, though. It really hasn't been his friend at all in this match. The break, no. Yeah, it's killed him. John Mora fans clapping and maybe some fans clapping for more pool. This game stretched the game out a little bit. The match out. <laughs> Young men, I see Tyler's what, 24? John just turned 30 back in May. How sweet it is, huh? <laughs> How sweet it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember 30, but I, I think my 40s, 40 to 50 were my best 10 years. I like those years the best. Well, he needs a break here. He needs a big break and, uh, and uh, you know, take control. I guess you might say he needs to take the bull by the horns. Yeah, he's not hit the, I mean, he did have one scratch on the break that, you know, he can miss hit the cue ball, had a little follow on it, went up following it down the corner. But really it's been the layouts that have really uh, not been his friend for the most part. Uh, there's that dry guy. There's that dry one, and the solids are the really only shot, and it, it's it's the ones you want anyways. Yeah, that's the third or fourth time he's broken like this. It must be so frustrating. I know yep. when it, I, I go crazy when I can't make a ball in the break. Yeah, and he's just hitting them flat again. You notice the cue ball doesn't have that pop at all up in the air, and mm -hmm. that's not saying you have to have it pop, you know, up in the air like that to right. be effective, but that just seems to be the one that gets the best spreads and makes the most balls. We've seen that by everybody that breaks the balls well. Mm -hmm. 
So, and if it's not there, uh, they have not been making balls consistently. I'll tell you, I'd, I'd hate to have to leave this six for the last ball to get on the eight just because it's so tight now. Mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to shoot the six and draw into the 12 to open up some room for the eight uh, somehow. Like So mm -hmm. I might pick a couple of these off, uh, say, to maybe open the three or something like that. Uh, might shoot the one and five off. Okay, he's going to go down. See if the five wasn't there, if I could shoot the six and, and crash into that 12 right there, I could do a lot of things if I had the three available. Now, you may end up getting the four. I don't know, but but I'd sure like to make a hair more room for that eight, wouldn't you? Um, you know, I think I'd, I'd leave the six ball where it's at. and I, I, I'd be okay with it because you can leave the cue ball towards the rail for the six. And draw into the and, 12. And just, and just stun into the 12. And just make sure, uh, like, I'd shoot the three, five. I'd take care of the three balls and then shoot the two. Um, got to get the four out I of get there. The four, then. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. And it doesn't pass the fifteen. I don't nope, think. He's so got to he, play it to the other side. Yeah. He's got to get some nice position on it. That's a great he's stroke get the there. Four now. Perfect. Perfect stroke. Now he can draw back underneath uh, and have a bunch of options mm -hmm. on the seven five and all that. So, I think you're dead correct there, George, as far as leaving yourself. Not a huge angle on mm -hmm. the six to go into Where the 12, right now. Yeah, but a little Where bit of an right angle now. there. Yeah. Well, if he could guarantee there, he doesn't have to move a thing. He just right. kind of stops his ball and chips right. it, right? But there's not that lead ball to that position. But mm -hmm. but the but the safety blanket is what you talked about, uh, mm -hmm. leaving the six last with a hair of an angle if you need mm -hmm. distance, and then you just kind of bump the 12 and you're guaranteed that little yeah, cut on the as eight. You're, as long as you're inside to the right of the six. Oh, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Right there on the 12. Yeah, now Tyler's been in this position to really extend his lead um, a few times and and fumbled, uh, you might say, but he's, he's good. He's yeah, good. He's to shoot the seven. I think he was looking to shoot the five, the and, five then, and, yeah, then, and then, then the, the three, three, then yeah. the seven, and come over for the for the six. But he came that's, back a little far. That's the beautiful thing about options. Yep. Insurance valves. See how he handles this, because going from the three, he's going to have to get the right angle if he has to go to the three first. I mean, last. That's okay, though. He'll be so close to it. Oh, careful now. He's getting he's a lot of movement that on same, the cue ball. He's got that same. Uh, uh, he got thin on the five where he's got to come down and back up. Yeah, and he just didn't hit his line with the cue ball there. No, I mean, the speed, speed was... A little fast, but if you hit your line there with the cue ball, you're coming into the five heavy, and speed's not really a problem. Yeah, it had more draw than right. Well, you certainly don't want to shoot the six and have to draw your ball length of the table again. He can't hold the five at all? I don't think so. Man, I would. can he go in between the 14, 15 and come yes. back down? Yeah, he can do that. Well, then I would do that. That's I wouldn't shoot the six. He's going to have to come down and back up again. Yeah, I wouldn't shoot the six and be drawing my ball yeah. back for the five and then hoping to get from the three to the eight. And the 14's big when he does this. See how he's got to come down? Yeah, I don't think he can avoid it. No, he's not going to hit the 14, but the no, 15. The 15, uh, yeah. He can, might hit the 15, and then he may end up short on the behind the 14 uh -huh. uh, uh, doing that also. But, so this little shot from the seven to the... Seven to the five, which shouldn't have been much of anything, uh, has gotten him pretty good out of line. And, again, he's been in position to really extend that lead off of John's break a few mm -hmm. times in this match and hasn't been able to do it. Yeah, that's where you wanted to be, Tyler. <laughs> well, I think that's what he's telling himself Oh, wow. Again, he, yeah. Is he going to shoot the six ball first? Well, I mean, he may have gotten to where he has to. Uh, the one good thing is... If he can get to where he's full on the three or the five, there is that window to cut the eight. What's amazing to me is how good he is on these with the open bridge. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, that just mean, I, means I, this cue ball coming off the three or the five is going to have to be so perfect for this eight. Actually, he might be able to stop it right where the five is, and he has a shot. Yeah, that's what I just said, okay. that if he gets heavy on the three or the five, he should be able to get that window. And now nothing. Absolutely nothing. Bank on the five. Yeah. It's going to be pretty frustrating, I'll tell you, if he, if he keeps getting these opportunities to, mm -hmm. I don't want to say put the match away, but yeah. he's had enough opportunities to have this match put away. He's played great, just a couple games, a couple little things. But it was just that coming off the seven ball there, he just drew it a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. He didn't catch the rail fast enough, and it uh, shortened up his angle. Well, he's got what well, looks to be maybe two different banks. Can he get at the three here, really? Uh, yes. Uh... Uh oh, we got trouble. What's that? Oh. <laughs> she got hooked watching these guys play perfect pool. Okay. So he's banking the three. Is that right? Now it looks like the five. Okay. Great shot there. Now we'll see if he can command that speed and really tries not to get close He's to this. He's got to be right on the line where the three is. Yeah. See? And that's why you broaden the position here a little bit, meaning don't try to come back getting closer. Get to it as quick as you can get to it, position that, that is. Yeah. However, straight high English tells you the speed is. And the good thing about getting right where he's trying to get is that it lays pretty natural coming off the three to the rail and coming back out. Yep. And I'll tell you, if he overruns just a scotch, he should have a cross corner bank at the very least. But and that's not saying that's too. what he that's wants. Right. No, but it's better than the alternative of being completely hooked. He uh, got there. No. Oh, I think I he's short. Don't know. I think 12. he's short. Oh, it, I don't it think could he has be rail anything. first. Not with the nine there, really. It yeah. Is, yeah. It could be rail first. Man. And that's why I was saying is if you if you do air and you're on the, other, on side, the other side, you got the piece of the eight to cross yeah. bank it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he fouled here. I got. I think it's tighter than what we're th what we're seeing. We're seeing the nine ball. Yeah. Plus he's using inside English. Yeah. He's using a little bit of right hand English. Hmm. Doesn't look too worried. Or disgusted. Well, John's going to be playing one pocket to the upper right hand corner. Well, he's got a tester to start with, is yep. all I can tell you. Yep. He's got a tough one to start with on the 13, I think, or the 15 in the side, which I'm not sure goes. And for the most part, having the the eight ball hanging in the pocket means safety is really not a good option. Yeah, not much of one. I'll no. tell you on the 13, though, he can do a little bit because he's got to get to the backside of the 9, the 12, and the 15. So, Well, he can take care of it right here. He can shoot this 13, go into the 10 ball, and then, he's, then come to the 11 and come downtown, come down here. Oh, you the shoot the 13 to the upper right? I yes. shoot it to the upper left. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a bigger pocket, right. I think, with the rail. Oh, yes. Good point. Uh, yeah, I think Good it's just point. a little bit bigger. Both of them are a little bit testers, yeah. but I think you have a little more room for error with the uh, with the upper left. 
Yeah, I, for, I forget about that. I just to me, it's like the widest pocket because you're going straight down the throat. Oh man, it didn't hit nothing but the center there. Yeah. See, now I'll shoot the now I'll shoot this eleven and come over for the nine. Yeah, and then you got the other two on the opposite yeah. sides. Well, then you that you can uh, sides. Are, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say the twelve doesn't have to be shot to the corner. You can go to the side, and you just pointed that out. Well, he's not wasting any time on that. He's going to go ahead. And I thought he might peel off the 14 first, but no reason. If you're good on it here mm -hmm. and it's on the speed that you like, you just come one rail across. Uh, Perfect. Pretty good. Now you can shoot the 12 in the side, the 15 in the corner on the left. And take care of the two balls in the middle of the table. Needs to get off the rail a little here, though. Did he get off the rail? Really? Yeah, well, he can't hold it for the, he can't hold it for the 15. Yeah, so he's still gonna have to play. He got on the Come funny back, yeah. going both yeah. ways. Uh, can't shoot the 15 and hold for the 12 on the side without moving the cue ball. Can't shoot the 12 without and hold for the 15 on the lower yeah. left. So he's gonna have to come back. Yeah, he's, oh, I wouldn't do this. I would level out and use the other balls. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't do this. This oh, is not no. necessary. You just shoot the roll it in 14, 10, coming down for the 15 in the side or the upper corner. I mean, he shouldn't miss, right? But, I mean, he made it a missable ball by ele elevating. Yeah. And, you know. Well, he risked it. No, right. It made the, rack e yeah. the rest of the rack easier, but you got to recognize at the same time, George, it wasn't tough no, without right. taking that chance, I agree. right? I agree. Yeah, you don't like elevating at all. Neither do I. I would never elevate it. I yeah. can't make a ball. Uh, <laughs> I can't make a ball uh, elevated. I used to I used to be okay with it. No uh, it used what. to be one of my best shots. I didn't mind it at all. But it's easier when you're forced to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like nothing else tells you that. But whenever you start shooting shots and you're like, man, I got myself in this position, it becomes tougher, I guess. But Okay, so he's holding for the 14 in the upper corner and, and then fall for the 10 in the other corner. So. I don't think he'll draw to the backside. I think he'll just go forward. Go forward and play the 10 in the corner. He's got the nice angle to fall on the rail. And John hasn't gone anywhere, and he'll be breaking. Uh, no, Tyler will oh, be right, breaking. Yeah. breaking. I'm sorry. Yeah. John, uh, John. John had another dry break yep. there. That's what I was saying earlier, that Tyler's had now three opportunities to really extend the lead on this match off of John's break and has failed to get it done. Um, but... A little bit of a security blanket behind mistakes is Tyler Stires' break, right? I mean, like, <laughs> makes him a little mistake, gives John a game, then gets him. up there and breaks and runs out, takes in the lead back to two. It's been working for him, but. Well, I thought John won the lag. He I'm did. A, he, he did win the lag, right? Yeah, but the score is now 5-4. Right, so if John won the lag, it would be Tyler's break. I'm almost 100% that John won the lag. I I actually am 100% because I wrote it down. You marked it. So uh, we should inform these guys, I think. I think 100%. John just broke dry. John. John. Yeah, John just... Uh, you got to inform him. John just broke dry, dry in the last break. John won the lag. John Mora, he broke first. I wouldn't let him break the balls, John. You have to intervene here. This is not uh, sleeping something or anything. This is something that should definitely be brought up. Ty uh, John broke the balls dry right there. Yeah, they agree. Yeah. 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 
Many people will say it's their own mistakes, but that's not how pro sports goes. You yeah. keep you keep yeah, everything obvious, correct. When yes, it's obvious, exactly. that's yeah. correct. Uh, in fact, it happened um, yeah, in, the in ten one ball, of the right? ten ball, yeah. and, and they were advised. John interve intervened immediately. But see, John kind of hesitated because he wasn't sure of our information, I think. <laughs> our yeah, that's one of the things. Well, we've been keeping score that way, and, and we yeah, write, yeah. Write, write, write them down on top. I would just, I'd also remember the lag, actually. And sure. Yeah, John broke dry in the last game. Kind of threw his hands up and wondering, asking, what, what's he got to do? Mm -hmm. Well, there's the four railer. Oh, nope. And the Kissed ten. Out. Nope, nothing. Well, justice prevails, and he was about to break the balls, and he is going to get the get first shot at this rack. Most of the balls are up on the upper half of the table. And I think uh, he'll be well served to take stripes. Eight ball's a little tough to get to with uh, the stripes, though. It's up past the one. I don't. It might go in the side. I think it goes in the corner. Yeah, it does go in the corner. Might, that seven ball might be in the way. I don't. I'm not sure. But if you take stripes, I like the 10, 14. He's going to have to run for position, though, isn't he? Well, a couple of them all open up each other. So, I mean, if he drops on any one of, like, the 12 on the side, that opens everything up. He can get mm -hmm. on the 9, the 14, then the 15 will go easily. So the one question mark really is a little bit the 13. It's playable. But the main thing is that 8 you were talking about, George. Yeah, the 8's tough. It looks like it goes by the seven. So if, if it does go by the seven Oof. to the right hand corner, life is good off of the 12, 15, or nine. It's tight though. And yeah. So he kind of got straight here. I'm not sure if he can follow. The one thing about the 14 in the side, he comes to a clear side of the table to where he's going to have the 12 in the side, he's going to have the 11 in the corner. I wouldn't worry about the 11. The 11 is not really – he keeps mm -hmm. acting like he's got to fall on that position on the 11 to open things up, and that's not the case at all. Nine goes to the right. Yeah, exactly. So, that, problem, uh, yeah. so if you fall on the 12 on the side, just draw over to this open side of the table, things are going to be okay. And he can actually draw to the rail and come down for the 13 now. Can do that as well, kind of however he wants to do it, if he mm -hmm. wants to open it up. The one thing I wouldn't do is I don't want to wait on the 13 to get on the 8. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, he got really lucky there. He could have <laughs> easily got jammed up off the back of that ball. Sure, sure. He hit it just right. Yeah, and it opened up. He could have been played that it eight, that way. I don't know if that eight passes that seven up in the corner. Real close. If it doesn't, it better go to the side then. Well, I think it goes in both side pockets maybe, but mm -hmm. still position is not easy because... I kind of foresee him having to take the 12 off first. You know, if he could leave the 12 for the last ball, well, that kind of tells you you can get up table off that mm -hmm. ball somehow pretty easily. But but yeah, that was the only thing that would have held me back from playing the stripes is where the eight ball laid. Wow. 
I'd have to take a deep breath here and figure out exactly how I'm going to get to the eight right now. I wouldn't wait. Yeah, well, it kind of tells me that, like you talked about, that eight must pass the seven easily. It's the only thing I can think because uh, he really hasn't, there hasn't been much thought of the eight, I don't, at least mm -hmm. what he's shown. Yeah, and there's the angle, and we just, we just can't tell from here. You know, I keep stepping around the eight to see if it goes by the seven, and I, I just still can't tell. I have a feeling he's going to play for the eight in the side pocket on the left. Off the 11. It's going to come just underneath the one to get by there. He was kind of looking at this angle right here, and that's where that angle leads. If it goes in both sides, like kind of like drawing one rail between the four two down to the maybe opposite spot. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's playing it in that corner you were talking about. He's trying to get nice and tidy on it, nice and close. Oh, he came for that well, side. For the, did he get far enough? It looks like he did. Yeah, nice shot. Nice control. Nice control opposite handed. Well, we can't really say it's opposite handed no more, huh? That's just how yep. it is. John Moore has become a southpaw on us. He just saw, saw the right way to do things. He caught the one there. Did it? Yeah. It still went wide? Yeah. Because it went to the outside of the pocket. I think Dude, so. I think left, he caught the one right. on that. Yeah, we're all tied up at five. He was down four to one. And then four to two. John won the first game. Tyler, Tyler reeled off four games in a row before John won the second game, and they're tied up. He's won four games to one, just like he lost four games to one. Well, a couple of those games, Tyler had a prime opportunity to get yeah, that beat on his side instead of John's. and We'll see if you know, John was really kind of Struggling. Yeah, with the he break especially. Uh, and we'll see if it, if it changes in the second half of this match. Got a good break here. Would get him right real quick. Momentum-wise, confidence-wise. Uh, if, you know, if John wants to sit there and say, what, what do I have to do to win this match? Break. Right. Winner here will will play Junling Junling Chang, who just lost the uh, the hot seat match to Skyler Woodward. And that'll come up right after this match. And there's the break. Is there anything going there? Uh, no. Not a. Looks dry. <laughs> and the again. cue ball. He straight in on the one. Again, the solids are nice, and Looks Tyler's like going to take a timeout. We will, too. We will, too.
Okay, guys, here we are. World 10 ball in March. BCAPL World Championships, the USAPL National Championships. And Tyler's back at the table. March, March 11th through the 21st, 2020 for those championships, along with the Diamond Las Vegas nine ball open. Well, no problems here, really. Uh, no. Just shoot the one, and when you shoot the two, just push the nine out of the way. Don't think you got to come out cleanly. You can just knock the nine out of the way. It's not going to cause any problems at all. Uh, then you got the four, five, six to clean up, and then you can see the seven and the three down table with mm -hmm. a real open, clear side of the table near the eight. So if you can draw by this nine, that's one thing, but don't take any chance. Don't take at, any chance. Yeah, otherwise, just ball. go right into it. No, don't take any chance at catching a piece of the nine oh, and moving it right. over the top of the six. That's why I just pushed the nine out of the way myself. Yeah, I like that. No reason to take any chances mm -hmm. with it. We're just don't be risky in a situation like that. And that's one thing about all these guys. And we can say Tyler doesn't have the eight ball experience, right? But instincts, just pull instincts mm -hmm. go so mm -hmm. such a long ways, you know, for these guys. Not only being able to execute whatever they want, that's a that's a great tool to have, but um, just your gut kind of telling you I'm not sure why he okay just go ahead and do what you're going to do to begin with you don't have uh, you got a lot of openings I'm not sure why he's shooting the four first if anything you shoot the five first yeah okay yeah. that's fine but the five not, the six definitely not the four, the four and the two on the bottom right Well, this is a hardly no mess up kind of situation. Just stop, come around the nine off the four, you shoot to three. and. But the only thing you do wrong here is roll up on top of the nine. Yeah, I don't even think that he'll have an <laughs> angle to, an angle. to be able to do yeah. that. You know, <laughs> like he'll have a roll by the nine angle and come mm -hmm. real nice and tidy and close to the three. So, man, it just, uh, John Moore is going to continually ask, what do I have to do to get this break going? Because Tyler, like many times in this short race to eight already, he's going to have another great opportunity to extend his lead. Okay, got a little thinner than I like on this, but nevertheless, should be okay. Yeah, I can see the table. He's much thinner on this ball than, I mean... That's one thing you have to realize when you're talking about angles, mm -hmm. um, especially playing this game of eight ball. Unless it tells you otherwise, you want to keep the angle small. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Unlike uh, rotation pool. Okay, don't skid. Okay, a nice hit there and coming into prime position. going to hold the cue ball on the same side, I believe. Yeah, and he'll just and float, right float by mm -hmm. the eight or stun above. I think it's a go by the eight mm -hmm. angle, I think. Go underneath it, catch the rail and line up. Yeah, just be aware of don't get elevated on the nine. Okay, nice shot. Well, that gets him to six, and he'll have the break to get to seven. So he'll have two breaks to win the match, even if John holds, holds his uh, break. Well... The three people that find that could find themselves in the final, one is 24, the other is 30, 
One is 34, and Skyler is 26. Pretty good age range, mm -hmm. you might say. Yeah, their four ages are tolling our two ages, pretty much. <laughs> I was just going to say. Might be exactly down to the number. Actually. I was going to say between 25 and 35, even 40-ish, even 45, I think is the, the what best do we got? range. We got, we got 34 and 30. That's 64. And then we that's got. That's below me. And then we got 20. Uh, what is what is Tyler? 23? 24. 24. So and then 26 and 24, that's another. They're both 50. below me. <laughs> They're right. both so over but you us and together, under me. Yeah. Us together, I was saying. So uh, that's 114. Well, how old are you? Uh, us together, we go higher than that. Then 114? Yes. Really? You're, six, you're over 66? I'm 67. Okay, so we're 115. So we, <laughs> we got these four young men by one year. There we go. It would take all four of them to give us a good run for our money, though. I just wanted to give the viewers a good laugh. <laughs> well, John's broken the balls. No, I'm sorry. Tyler broke the balls. And John, again, now even off of Tyler's... Uh, dry break not mm -hmm. the easiest of outs the stripes you think are very doable but you have a, a 15 you got to contend with you got a 9 and 10 that are probably more difficult to contend with than the 14 is or the 15 rather and then you have a 14 near the three that he's got to do something so you can see if he doesn't gain where is he going for position here um this is not really any good he's got the uh, he just took stripes, right? Yeah, long yeah. straight 11. That's long it. Long straight 11. That's He's it. He's very yeah. upset he did not gain position on the 14 right there. That's <coughs> gonna, I think he just yeah. turned himself into a big underdog on the run out myself just from that first shot. Because I mean, where do you go? Where do you go on the 11? Well, you got to come He's back gotta a little for the He's got to shoot the 14 now, I think. I think he's, if he can play the 14 now, I think he's got to or else he can't run out. If he shoots the 11 right now, I think he's pretty much saying just just giving up. I think he's got to shoot the 14 now. And the eight and, ball. No, he's going to draw into the nine. So this sure. could do a couple things here. This could work out. This miss hit position could work out if he can get this one down. Great shot. Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Man, what a hard luck that was there. Huh? He hasn't had any. I'll no. Tell you that. He can't even edge the 10 and put him back on the 10 and keep him off the shot either, can he? He's got to cut the 11 or cut the 13. I mean, that, man, pretty hard luck for making such a great shot. Because it could have worked out real nice for him, right? Could have bumped the 9 up in front mm -hmm. of the side. A lot of good things could have happened right there. and Pretty much none of them happened. I'd really survey things here. I'm not so sure Schuyler can run out if you put the cue ball in a certain position here. He's back cutting the 13 ball. Yeah. Like I said, I would really, I don't want to have to play safe here, but I'd really entertain it. Or do you Tell play you safe too? Well, can he nick this 10 and get him back up on the 10, cutting him off of everything? Can he do that? Even cut him off the six on the bottom also. Nick it and just come up and freeze against the ten? Yeah, just like a little left. Yeah, a little yeah. left English. So whenever it hits the rail, it checks straight up on the ten. Should cut him off the one as well. Nah, yeah. too much. Too much. Uh, maybe. Nah, he's got the he's six got the for six, sure. Yeah. And he's got a way to break him out to uh, he can get on the five and go into the the 15 ball, yeah. right? He could also bank the two and move the four. Yeah, cross side. Yep. Might end up being the shot. I wouldn't play safe if I was Tyler. Myself, I think I'm cutting this ball in. He's looking at playing safe. Hmm. OK, 
Okay. I'm not sure what John can do here. Well, I don't think he can do anything, anything as far yeah. as running out, but he can reposition something to make things tough on Tyler. I think, anyways. Shoot the maybe the 10 off the 13 and trickle the 10 towards the that right pocket, maybe. He's going to roll this ball and try to use the 10 to block the 6. And everything else gets blocked. What about the 1? Oh, the five's open, too. Yeah. Never mind. Can he bank the three across and drop him below that six? Uh, yes, like a little wall like like pocket, pocket shot. Yeah, just, sure. just if he doesn't get there, though, I think he gives up the 11. Yeah. But he still, it'll be hard to get position from the 11 because yeah. he's going to leave him straight in. I'm trying to think here. I think he may go for the run out here. Yeah, I think he's going to be going is, at this five and maybe even coming after the four. Yeah. But then the two ball is still going to be banged. That's why you want to really go into the 15. Mm -hmm. But the problem is if you go into the 15, you probably move it. But nothing. what do you get a shot on? Have Maybe a cross side on the seven, something yeah. like that. Now, the one thing is he's got a six in the near up corner. So it would be hard-pressed to think he won't come away with something, especially mm -hmm. if he can cannon into this 15 with some speed. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, there's always that. Uh oh It might go to the corner. It, I think does, it does go to the corner. I think it does. He'll look at it. He's a little happier now. Doesn't look like a lot. <laughs> it's still a tough shot. But it's better than no shot. See, now that's where he's going to go with the cue ball if he shoots this. Yeah, but he knows the problem is if he feathers this ball open or whatever and gets John back to that back rail, John, all he's got to do is bump against this 15 and leave him underneath the 15 and... <laughs> Tyler really might not have a shot at all. So he knows he's in a bad spot as far as that's concerned. I'd like to see, can I can I get down table near the six somehow? I don't know how, but, and leave him long and testy on something like from, from that end of the table. But Four ball stops. So. I was thinking he could. I was thinking he can come off the two ball and go three rails to the side, right where his cue is next. This rail and come and back up, back up to the six, but I think the four ball stops that. Yeah, it's almost to the point of, man, if he could get the ta ball down the table, he's well, he's got a long eleven ball he can shoot yeah. regardless. So. Pretty cold roll though, getting underneath there. Mm -hmm. And he did miss the ball he wanted to go into. He wanted to go into that 15, but still to have that much speed. Watch for the cross corner scratch. I don't think he's shooting it. I think he's playing safe. Oh, okay. That would have been really good if he'd have got the six up a little bit more. Cause On top like, of the top of the. Yeah, because John really he can just he can just bump the bottom part of this 14, I think, and keep keep him off of all these balls. No? Yes. Or 15, I'm yes. sorry, not yes. the 14, the 15. The ball in the upper right-hand corner right. of the table. Yeah. Wow. He's looking to okay. go for this 11. Yeah, he's looking to make a shot. Well, it wins him the game outright because everything is open from there. Ooh, I thought he was going to nick the three and still carry it into that same pocket he called. Well, he's left... Uh, He's left Tyler maybe perfect on the four if it goes to open the seven. Open yeah. the two ball, excuse open me. Open the two. Yeah, he's got to do that now. If it goes. If the four ball goes? Yeah. Should. You don't want to shoot to a half a pocket, though, because he will have other options. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. He can get shape on the four to, for the side pocket, and that opens it. Yeah, so he's looking to go here. 
One thing is he wants a heavy hit on the two, whether it's from behind or right straight mm -hmm. into the face. You don't want to mm -hmm. cut the two at all. And the good thing about the heavy hit, it really holds you for shape on probably the six pretty easy. If you cut it, cue ball could run. There you go. That's enough. Well. He's good now. Yeah, he's got to get these uh, five balls and the eight uh, and break on the hill. Yeah, it looks like he can just follow up on the left side of the three. Having the three, the one on the side, the seven in the upper left-hand corner. Looks like it anyways. He can come outward like this as well. I'm just saying what the angle is, is saying he can do. He doesn't mind drawing his ball, though. Probably leave the three ball for last. matter how he wants to come which side of the uh, ball in the middle there the 13 ball in the middle of the table above the side pockets there which side he wants to go by after shooting the two ball well it being in the side you would think he's just going to draw around the 13 right mm -hmm. I would think so I, I think he's going to stop yeah. it there two rails around it by drawing the ball yeah Gets him right to where he's at now. But speed's important. Tyler Starr just a couple chip shots away from getting on the hill, and we'll have one break to win the match. And what looks like from, from the way this match has gone, he'll have two of John Morris breaks to get to win this match as well. It's just been he brutal has, for he John. Has not, he has not been able to produce on the break. Not at all. It's almost, it's, it's kind of like, come on, you got to get, you're almost rooting for him on the break. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, rooting for both break, these guys yeah. all the time, but sure. it's just been very devastating is what it's been. Played pretty well. Had a couple of mistakes, and a couple of them, um, you could say, were just layouts that were pretty mm -hmm. impossible to run out, uh, or very, very slim margin anyway. Well, we'll have the the uh, semifinal match. The winner of this of these two gentlemen here will be playing Junling Chang uh, to see who meets Skyler Woodward, who's in the hot seat, waiting for them in the final. The final match will be a race to ten, a single race to ten. Well, this young man has struggled considerably with this break. Will his struggles continue or will he get rewarded finally? A little more pop on the cue ball that time, but. There it goes. No, no, nothing. Zero. And again, the balls. Well, he's got some work now. The four and the 12 are pretty tied up, and I don't know if it's shootable right now. It is. Oh, sweet. How sweet is that? Because the stripes are definitely the way you want to go. 
And, and the one six. ball you got a serious problem with is the 12, and it lays perfect to shoot a off-ball combination right now to open the game, right? <laughs> and he picked it out right yeah. away. Well, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Sometimes the layouts will yeah. keep you from having to make any tough decisions because uh, it's obvious you want stripes. Mm -hmm. um, the way the, the all of them are just kind of laid up. And then, I'll, uh, again, the 412 is telling you, let me shoot Gosh. that one right now. And and all he really has to do here is come back a little bit for the 10 in the side, and everything yeah. is at his mercy. Yeah, know, by himself. take care of the 10 it's and the 11. Good. Sure. And then just worry about those ones up in the corner and the one over the side pocket, and you really got no worries. He's perfect, unless he got checked. Ooh, that's a little chilly. That might change his. Uh, don't yeah. take a chance on a miss, I'll tell you now that. Now he's going to play it in the side. You'd play uh, the, the no, 15 I'd ball? No, I'll just go ahead and play the 13 ball. You know why? Because oh, I got all oh, way up there. Yeah, I, I got the 15 to get to the 10 in the side, to get to the 11 in the corner. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and play the 13, 14, 9. Come to the right side of the table. You chip the 15 in, drop on the 10 in the side, and it's pretty much curtains and on to the semifinal. You know, and I'll tell you guys uh, out there, for a lot of the amateurs out there, what Jeremy just said makes a lot of sense. Most players would just kind of elevate here and oh. go ahead and play the 10 ball. But like he says, play the 13 in the corner, run the three balls up there, and come down and take care of these. Uh, the one by the side here on the left, the 15, the 10, and the 11, and you're out. Yeah. Well, the main thing is when you have options to change your plan, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to do it. You're better off to do that rather than take a shot and make it missable. Because mm -hmm. this game is all about not missing that eight ball is. I mean, you just can't afford it, right? So just drift this one in. You're going to have something on the 14 to get to the 9. See, like right there, Skyler's got to realize, uh, excuse me, Tyler's got to realize, no reason to draw that ball out of there. Even if you lay somewhat straight on the 14, you can maneuver sure. and sure. Uh, the pocket a little bit to get around on the 9. Me, For me, I'm never shooting that with draw and coming across on that 13. I just, just kind of dink it in and get real close to the 14. Because all he's got to do is come around the back side of the nine and then look into this open. See where he's at now with the cue ball? Yep. All he has, now, will he stun by it or run by it? Well, he should have ran by it. Uh, that Because if you lay underneath the nine a little bit, that's an easy angle to come over for mm -hmm. where the cue ball's at now. Wow, I can't believe he's waiting on this. Well, he probably wants to go from the 9 to the 14. Yeah. Instead of from the 14 to the 9. Yeah. Some reason decided on that. I mean, don't get me wrong. It should be okay. But he's going to do the same things from the 14 to the 9 that I was talking about at the end. He's going to shoot the 10 in, the 11. Then he's going to shoot the 14, come around to the back of the 9, and drop mm -hmm. on the 8. Which is fine. It's not mm -hmm. going to cost him either way. He's going to be good. Yeah, he's fine. But this is the exact same scenario as he had a second ago. It's just a matter of the order, I guess. Yeah, just me when I'm down too. there. You know, a little mm -hmm. better angle, but yeah. I mean, he's gonna, he would have got there either way, I sure. think. So, I think so too. When you're traveling at an easy speed, you can handle a lot. He just liked this a little better, that's all. Yeah. And he'll just come two rails and get himself over the. Don't try to get too thin now. Yeah. I don't like trying to get too thin. He's like he like to be on the line between the, the nine five. and the five. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. And you never end up short that way. You yeah. try to play it too thin, you could end up a hair short on the shot, actually. And a little more jacked up, but still okay. He should be. Down by the side pocket. Just not in it. There it is. And this to go on to meet Jun Ling Chang for the second time today. Oops, no, I'm sorry. Um, 
They played last night. They played last night for the second yeah. time. And I'll tell you, an impressive John Moore coming in fourth in this field right here. Playing uh, opposite handed now becoming as normal, but really just the break cost him. He played great. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll have our semifinal here shortly. Stay tuned. Thank you. 